Welcome to London Tech Leaders. Uh, very excited to hear from our speakers tonight, as I'm sure everyone is. We would be here without our sponsors, so I'm one of the directors of WeShape. Um, we're a DevOps cloud native consultancy. Um, and what Uptime Labs is, is a virtual platform where IT teams and individuals can practice IT and degradation response. And what we encourage is discussing industry topics of trend, um, networking, and also quite an exclusive setting for our leadership networks. So with that in mind, WeShape are announcing the launching of a new initiative called the WeShape Tech Academy. Uh, essentially, this is aimed at people coming from underrepresented and underprivileged backgrounds. The aim of it is essentially to reduce the skills gap and also introduce a wave of new technology leaders. I'm going to pass over to David and the panel. Evening all, nice turnout, nice to see you all. Uh, Recognise quite a few familiar faces and we've got a great panel of people tonight. Um, my name's Mark Dunning, I'm the Technology Director in Innocent Drinks. My name is Victor, Victor Moreno, and my pronouns are he, him, so I'm the Head of Engineering, not her. Hi everyone, uh, good to see you. My name's Vicky, I'm the CTO at Zego. My name's uh, Paul Kiravanagam, I work for Light and Wonder. Uh, what are your experience with, experiences with diversity in tech, um, and how does it impact the success of businesses, both from a people perspective, which is where we all go to when we talk about diversity, but also from a, a revenue profit perspective. When I joined Innocent, it, it was very traditional university leavers, but now we're bringing that back to school leavers as well, because sometimes when you get the school leavers in, there's not that education background that they've gone through university, so they've got new ideas and different ways of thinking. I come from a sporting and team background, and that's the principles that every good team is built around. You know, you've got to get teams that are engaged, you know, just hanging out together and working together. I think as an industry, we have to acknowledge that we are incredibly privileged. The thing is like, every experience of life, from your cultural background, from where you were born, it adds in the diversity of thinking. How do we attract a diverse uh, set of uh, um, staff, employees, partners, and then how do we retain them? I think you have to be willing to put yourself outside of that. If, if you're part of a monoculture, if you're part of a team that all sort of looks the same from the same background, um, I think it is a leap of faith to say, do you know what, we're going to we're going to embrace people who think differently. We, we didn't set a target, oh, it must be 50-50 men, women, um, but we did We did reach 50%, um, which was brilliant in the UK. We, we identify top talent no matter who they are. When you look inwards, and if you look specifically at your sea level, what is the people seeing there? But what about diversity of the way that we approach what we do as technologists? If you have diversity in your teams, you will get that type of thinking, you'll get that sort of hunger for learning and different viewpoints on how something could be done. Who, who practices Agile in their organisation? Oh, come on, you all bloody do, right? <laughs> I love chaos. I think chaos is thriving, especially with technologies. But you can't just, just service the business, you know, you're, you're part of making making them successful and you've got to bring those ideas from the technology side as well. Technology needs to be at the table because you need to be feeding the technology perspective into your business plan, into your product roadmap, whatever it might be. So it is a two-way street but we've got to open the street. That, that's my view, that's what I've done and it's, it's stood me a good step. Um, can we give a round of applause for the panel and the fantastic <laughs> lecture?